State of the Bloodbath NBC News Trump says there will be a bloodbath if he loses the election. Now this is a good example of how the corporate news media is desperate to protect President Joe Biden and his sagging approval rating. They have to lie about his opponent, Donald Trump, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in order to prop Joe Biden up. Let's actually look at, at Trump's actual rally speech and see if he actually calls for a bloodbath if he's not elected. What you have to do with the American news media is not trust their summary of a Trump rally. You can see here the time, 1 hour 29 minutes, total time for this particular clip. Donald Trump speaks clearly and forcefully for the American people in his rallies. Do not let anyone summarize a Trump rally speech for you. The corporate news media is lying. NBC's news editors are lying. The NBC president of NBC News is lying. And every one of their reporters is lying for the Democratic Party. And I'll prove it to you. Let's watch Trump's fuller comments in context. I'm dealing with the Teamsters. They should endorse me. I don't know if they will or not. I know the Teamsters are going to vote for me. The Teamsters, the real, the Teamsters that do the work. The head Teamsters, Sean and everybody, they're good men. They're good people. And I hope they're going to endorse Trump. I think it would be nice. It's been many decades before that's happened. But if you look at the United Auto Workers, what they've done to their people is horrible. They want to do this all-electric nonsense where the cars don't go far, they cost too much, and they're all made in, they're all made in China. And the head of the United Auto Workers never probably shook hands with a Republican before. They're destroying. You know, Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34 percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country think of it went to mexico china now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in mexico and think they think that they're going to sell those cars into the united states with no tax at the border let me tell you something to china if you're listening president xi and you and i are friends but he understands the way i deal those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100% tariff on every single car that comes Where's across the, the line. And you're not going to be NBC able to sell those cars. If I get elected, a bloodbath. now if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole, that's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world. We're 30 minutes into this Donald Trump speech. His comments at the start, middle, and end were specifically about a bloodbath for America's auto workers and their industry that Joe Biden is deliberately ordering destroyed in order to enforce his electric vehicle EV mandate. So when you see NBC News going out of their way to lie about a presidential candidate, remember that there is an agenda here to protect Joe Biden. Because obviously no one believes in Joe Biden or else they wouldn't need to, to dump the entire reputation of the NBC News division, along with all the other network news, in order to protect Joe Biden. You really have to watch an entire rally by candidate Trump to get a sense of where he's coming from and where he's going. Donald Trump works for one person. That's you, the American taxpayer. He doesn't work for anybody else and these mega corporations that attack Trump, none of them point out the fact that Donald Trump doesn't work for any of them. He works for you and that's what's got them scared. Joe Biden found a great surprise after his State of the Union address where he gave the, uh, a similar long speech, but his speech was screaming in anger about Donald Trump. He was left behind a mental health crisis of isolation and loneliness. A president, my predecessor, failed the most basic presidential duty that he owes to American people, the duty to care. So spending your entire speech screaming about Donald Trump and 
that's not the actual focus of a State of the Union speech, by the way. Didn't improve Biden's poll numbers. Look at these headlines. Biden has become cursing mad over his polling numbers. Trump versus Biden polls. No State of the Union bounce for Joe. Biden's State of the Union hushed Democratic criticism but hasn't helped him. Biden's combative State of the Union speech falls flat in polls. Basically, an old man yelling at his audience for an hour about how much he hates them if they don't vote for him doesn't motivate the American public. Someone told Joe Biden that yelling is leadership. And I would just remind you of something. If you haven't seen leadership in a president for some time, zone that separates North and South Korea. You'll be meeting with North Korea dictator Kim Jong Un at the demilitarized zone that separates personal safety on the line and walked across the Korean border for peace. I want you to watch this again because it's been a long time, years, since America did not have a coward in the White House. That coward being Joe Biden. I want you to watch presidential leadership here and remind you this is what a president can and should be. A man who doesn't value his own personal safety over the quest for peace. Here Donald Trump approaches one of the deadliest checkpoints in the world and he's me and you can see Kim Jong-un marching ahead Kim Jong-un can't believe it he's gonna have a face-to-face -face meeting with an American president Donald Trump meeting Kim Jong-un at the border Good to see you again. I've never expected to meet you at this place. You will be the first US president to cross the border. You don't need a translator. Kim Jong un says, Come across the border. Let's go chat. This is a name. Donald Trump is a man. Donald Trump is a leader. Joe Biden is a coward. While talking about the threat of his domestic political opponent, Joe Biden is continuing to arrest Americans for January 6th. Conservative social media influencer charged for her role in January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. Isabella DeLuca was arrested last Friday in California on misdemeanor charges including theft of government property, disorderly conduct, and entering a restricted area. DeLuca, who has 335,000 followers on Twitter, is a former congressional intern who works as a media associate. So who is this woman? Three years ago, she was assaulted and beaten at the International Women's March simply for the crime of showing up in support of President Democrats Trump's record. like Jim Clyburn, on, the number uh, three in the House of Representatives. civil rights. That all women are supposed to be believed? Apparently they don't. So after I had posted what had happened to me on Facebook, I want to say not even 24 hours later, Facebook had completely removed my account without any really any warning. Isabella DeLuca has also been interviewed by comedian Chrissy Meyer, whom I admire because she's a thoughtful woman who speaks her mind. Apparently, women who speak their mind are not appreciated in Biden's America. You're, it's, it's, you're, you're super tough, and I, tough, and I feel like you're very confident. Like, do you attribute that, that to, like, how you were raised? raised or, or, and I feel like, and you, I feel like you kind of have your shit together for someone who seems pretty young, seems pretty young, young still. still. So, we're, I mean, like, I mean, you have to think for that. I mean, definitely, I mean, definitely my parents. I mean, I am the oldest of three other siblings, so I do feel like having younger siblings, you know, my parents were um, building up their businesses when I was younger, so kind of they were working a lot, and I felt like I had to take care of my siblings a lot of the time. Um, so I do feel like that kind of made me grow up a little bit faster. And then I think when you go through certain things in your life, it definitely toughens you up. So, like, in middle school, I was bullied really bad. That definitely, like... Why were you bullied? Get on me. It was really bad. Wow, what a hardened insurrectionist, seditionist, revolutionary. What an absolutely evil woman. No wonder Joe Biden is afraid of her and sicked his Department of Justice lawyers on her. Joe Biden is a coward. He arrests his political domestic opponents 
and even worse, he arrests critics of the Biden administration. This is what we are faced with as a nation in 2024. An entire corporate media complex working overtime to keep Joe Biden in office. Vote accordingly. Thank you.